Hi there, it's Martha, and if you're new, welcome, and if you're returning, welcome back. I have my What I've Been Warming video for the week. Now, I did a lot because I only had to go into the office one day, and it was, you know, we had two days off, I'm at home more. I love it, I love it. So I do have quite a bit here. Um, I'm not sure how long this will be, and the sun is starting to go down, so hopefully I won't start talking too, too fast because I tend to speed up as I'm losing light, but... I have lots of goodies here, mix of Scentsy, mix of Vendor Wax, and uh, I enjoy doing these because as much as I enjoy doing hauls, I mean, for, for me, hauls are my favorite, but I also want to share, like, what did I think of it? Was it worth it? Did I enjoy it? Do I regret anything? And, uh, and let you know what I've been warming and my thoughts. Uh, so let's get to it. Okay, so I have my, I think I pulled out all the Scentsy. Uh, so first let's start with what I had. I already shared this though, I think. I had the AirPods, AirPods, why do I say that? The pods, the Scentsy pods um, in Wild for Fall. I had it in my car, but this, I talked about that last time. What I have now, here it is. I'm like, where'd it go? This is empty. Uh, that was for Wild for Fall. What I replaced, Sorry, let me take that back. I had Luna. This is this is how it works. I had Luna in the car because this is now pretty much scent free. And I switched it out for a pod of Wild for Fall, which I love this scent. It's a great scent. The pod um, performs pretty well in the car in the beginning, as all of them do, I feel. Um, but this one is already lasting longer than Luna did. Luna didn't last very long for me in the car, although I had it in there for a month. But it got to the point where I could just smell it sometimes, you know. Um, but it's a pretty smell. It's a very floral scent. It's, it's really, really lovely. So I do like it. I probably won't get it in the pot again just because it was... Didn't last very long. And I do have an air purifier. And in the air purifier, you can put two pods at the same time. The only thing is it really uses up, I think, the fragrance pretty fast. And I have an air purifier in a room with wax warmers. So I don't really use the air purifier. So I really only use these guys in the car. So just wanted to put that out there because I don't have any other little fans. I do have a go, those travel, the travel go, I think it's called. Um, but you know, I don't, you, I forget to take it anywhere. <laughs> okay. This next one is Wizarding World Harry Potter. This has notes of citrus, green apple, mahogany woods, and vanilla, uh, vanilla and amber. This is currently available. And I think out of, no, maybe not. Um, this is currently available in, in the catalog and it's a scent that is very strong. It's a strong performing scent. I do tend to use it in the bedroom though. Don't need much. So I've only used half, half a bar. Um, and I have it in the bathroom as well, because it's just a strong performer. Uh, it is masculine leaning. The amber is very strong and the mahogany is very strong. So if you don't like mahogany, you probably wouldn't like this. I do like mahogany. It does. I think both of those notes is what makes this kind of veer a little more masculine. But it's it's such a good scent. I also get some of the citrus. I do not get green apple and I get a little bit of vanilla. Um, but it's one of these scents that when I'm in the mood for it, I'm in the mood for it, even though I'm not drawn to it very often. But I do like it. Um, and I'm glad I repurchased one this, this fall because I like it. It's a good one. Speaking of good ones, Woodland Suede. This is in my club. This is Wooded Woodland, uh, Red Oak, Smoky Cedar, Musk, and Winter Lemon. I don't really get lemon too much, but I get whatever that woodland is and maybe some in musk. This is, the musk makes this fear also for me a little masculine. I find it beautiful. I do get a little lemon, a little bit. There's something that adds this brightness to it. And it's not like a tree, tree scent. It's not like you can smell pine or anything. Uh, it does have cedar, but it doesn't stick out as cedar. It's blended really well. Um, 
and it also has oak. But again, I'm not getting like a distinct tree note. It's more of that musk, a tiny bit of lemon, and whatever that woodland is. But it's it's in my club. It's staying in my club. It's not going anywhere. This makes me so happy. It's powerful. It's a strong one. <laughs> it is a strong one. I have it currently in this bedroom and I had to open the window a little bit. Um, it's a strong one. And I also have it actually ba basically upstairs uh, in the other bedroom as well. So Woodland Suede, fantastic. Love it. Fortunately, it's not available, but if you ever see it and that sounds good to you, I recommend it. Another one that was in my club, this one I did take out, is Hazelnut Latte. This is steamed milk, toasted hazelnut, toasted hazelnut, espresso, vanilla, and cinnamon. I had this warming the same day as some a vendor that is in here, and I'll talk about that when I get to it. I like the scent a lot. I mean, I, obviously I did because I clubbed it. I get mo more of a kind of sweet cinnamon. Um, I get like a little bakery, uh, and I don't get a lot of espresso, but I get some, I get some hazelnut. I do get some hazelnut and it's toasty. It's light though. And, um, even though this one is from August, like it hasn't, it hasn't really cured, um, or gotten stronger. So no regrets about taking this out of my club, but it is a good scent. I do like it. It's just, you know, if I want coffee, I've got much better coffee. Okay. Well, for fall, I mentioned that I have it uh, going in my car in the pod form. This is Douglas fir, Satsuma, Mandarin, and Golden, Golden Sunflower. It's, it's strong too. It's another good powerful, strong, the Satsuma in here. I love it's just bright and it's a Mandarin. So it's got like this oranginess, but, and you have a little bit of tree notes, but it's not a strong tree. I really don't have that Douglas fir. I feel like for me that Satsuma overtakes it and I get some of the fir and I get some of the sunflower. I find it beautiful. This one's staying in my club for a long, long time as well. Um, and it's a good, strong performer. Finally got around to Rum Pum Plum. This is part of the holiday collection. This is sweet plum, jam, vanilla sugar, and flaky buttery crust. This was part of the collection with Sleigh Ride and um, Vanilla Barnwood. Uh, I know there's a candy cane in there as well. Cherry's Jubilee, so it was that collection. Now I have tried sweet plum pastry, which, which I've now come to find out not, not everyone likes. I thought it was like a love for so many, but I did not care for it at all. Uh, that there's something just very strong and off putting to, to my nose of that particular bar. And then this is, you have that plum again, but this is almost like what sweet plum pastry should smell like. This is good. This is very good. It's, it's delicious. I had this going upstairs here in the bedroom and the bedroom next door. And what I get is very much a jam. It's like a, it's the plum jam, which is beautiful. And then, um, I don't really get flaky crust, but it's a really very nice, good performer as well. This one, two days. So this was a good one. So rum, plum, plum. I know some people are clubbing it. I don't know if I'm going to club it, but, um, but I really liked it. So I'm just getting really picky. <laughs> I'm getting really, I'm getting really picky. Okay. That was the Scentsy. So I'm going to move on to the rest of this basket here. We got quite a lot. I did warm a lot of, um, Knowles Farm scents and, uh, yeah. A little second in spruce. So a little sassy girl aroma. I got a little bit of that. So if you're interested in that, stick around. If you just like seeing or hearing about Sensi, thank you so much. I hope you consider giving me a like uh, and subscribing to my channel if you haven't already. That sun is going down fast. So I'm going to hit the lights. Uh, so hold on a sec. All right. So we're back. You're probably like the lights look the same. No, but it'll keep me from talking super fast and rushing through it because I'm worried I'm going to run out of lights. Uh, so, or natural light. Anyway, 
it being Thanksgiving week last week, I had to, on Thanksgiving, had to uh, warm Thanksgiving stretchy pants on Thanksgiving. This has pumpkin pie, apple pie, sugar cookies, and hints of pecan, caramel, brown sugar, and mallow fluff. This was poured September 23rd, and it is from Second and Spruce. And this is, I mean, fantastic. Only Scentsy Warmers, open space, whew, was blowing through the downstairs. This is a decadent scent. I mean, apple pie and pumpkin pie and caramel and all of that stuff. And I know I, I've uh, talked about caramel can be a little heavy at times and this is a lot so i did i did just kind of chop this all up into small pieces uh because it's it's a strong thrower it lasts a long time and you can see kind of how thin i put it in my scentsy warmer but boy does it smell so good in fact i shouldn't have done that because the wax is very her her wax um erica is the uh the owner of Second and Spruce, her and her husband. And uh, this is just so good. I get the pumpkin pie. I do get the caramel. I do get the brown sugar. I do get some apple pie as well. It's fantastic. And basically how amazing it smells here it smells when it's warming. So although it doesn't look like I did a lot, it's because I didn't need a lot um, in open space. And I wanted to warm that Thanksgiving evening went on all night. And I did take it out in the morning, even though it still had quite a lot of life into it. I was just ready for something else, ready for something else, just because it is a very decadent, rich scent. Um, so that was so that was one second in spruce that I warmed um this week and then i have this other one here this is glasses time i did bring i was prepared <laughs> this is dark nights this is palo santo mallow fireside vanilla bean mallow and blackberry and this one is dark nights i think i have this in a mini loaf as well this particular one is a snap bar um yeah i do have this in a mini loaf this was one a scent. I was looking for something in the evening. It was, you know, it gets dark early now. So it was probably about five or six o'clock and whatever I had going on earlier was waning and I have a lot of wax. So I'm like, you know what? I want something like something for the evening. This is again, I mean, her wax is so strong and powerful and amazing. I love it. Don't change anything, Erica. It's fantastic. Um, I don't know what magic she puts in this stuff, but it's strong, works in my Scentsy warmers. The blackberry in here is really, really nice. Now I'd say this is kind of a mask. It's got a cologne, a cologne scent. Almost just got something peppery. I got something peppery. Did I read? I mean, I know I read the scent, the scent notes, but I'm like, yeah, there's something in here. A little peppery. To me, there's something masculine about Dark Nights and just looking at the notes, I could, couldn't tell you what it is. Um, it does have some smokiness like from the Palo Santo, but it's it's really nice and strong. This is another one I had going all evening, all while we were sleeping, night long and in the morning as well. Um, I can smell it well into about half the next day and I just changed it out. I could still smell it. Uh, it was just, I just changed it out, but that was Dark Nights from Second and Spruce. I have a mini loaf of that one and I'm very happy to have that uh, extra of that. Let's keep going with softer wax here. Uh, this one is Salt Mountain Melts. This is Woodlands and this is poured September 6th. This is Crunchy Leaves, Flowers, Clove, Forest Woods, and Fresh Air. Now I recently just did a haul of my like it, pretty much my first um, salt melts and salt mountain melts. This is the first wax of from Amanda. Amanda's the owner that I've warmed. Um, this came as part of a mystery bundle that I that I picked up. And yeah, I use this downstairs open space. I did a mix of Scentsy tea light and a hot plate only because it was my first time trying it. I just really wanted to pump it through. 
Um, and this is, this is a really beautiful scent. It is more, I think for me, like a spring summer scent. Um, I wasn't sure with the crunchy leaves or forest woods, if I think like fall would be a good time. Only reason I say spring or summer is the fresh air in here is beautiful. It smells like it just rained. Like it just rained and it's almost got some of that raindrop fragrance oil. You get fresh air from being outdoors in the forest, but it's like it's rained and everything smells clean. That clean air from being like in the forest or the mountains. Um, it's beautiful. So that's definitely what I get, but it's more like a spring rain. Um, nice and clean. I enjoyed melting this because again, when I have a lot of heavy bakery, maple, caramel, um, a lot of cinnamon, things like that, that sometimes my nose just needs a rest. So this was a nice reset. This one is Woodlands from Salt Mountain Melts. And um, I just had that haul and wow, I loved everything that I uh, smelled, at least on cold. So I'm glad to know that her wax will perform in my open space. Okay, let's see. Um, you know what? Here's the here's the Luna pod. <laughs> it's empty. Um, I think this is the only Teddy Bees. So I also did a haul of Teddy Bees recently. Uh, and this one is Witchy Woman. This is warm flannel, blackberries, and boardwalk marshmallow clouds poured June 29th of this year. Um, I'm just starting to melt some of the wax that I got from earlier in the year. I hold on to Teddy Bees a lot longer just because I've heard that, you know, the longer the better as far as cure time. And, uh, and I have some, I have a lot of wax from previous hauls this year that, um, that I was in the mood to smell. Ooh, that's so good. I don't, did I? Yes, I did say what the scent notes are. And then I took my glasses off and then I forgot because I'm old <laughs> and the brain just doesn't work the way it used to. Um, I get the flannel, I get flannel in here and I get the blackberries. That's pretty much what I get mostly. I don't know. I mean, a little bit of marshmallow clouds, but when I'm warming it, cause this is a, what I've been warming video, not a cold sniff video, but it helps me jog my, jog my memory. Cause my memory is so bad, but I warm this downstairs, open space. I do, do, eh. I do use an, uh, tea light warmer with sassy girl aroma as well as Scentsy warmers and hot plates. So I kind of mix it up when I'm warming Teddy bees. This one was an open space. Um, and I, I didn't use much. So as, if you can see here, I really didn't use much, uh, but it, it was strong. It was very strong. Uh, it's got a little bit of a, it's not quite masculine, but it's the flannel. And I think for some people, if you're familiar with flannel from, or yeah, like a flannel scent, it is kind of a little bit masculine to me, to my nose. Uh, I do get the blackberries and I did get that coming through. So that was really nice. All that to say is I enjoyed the scent a lot and yes, I would get it again. I would definitely get it again. It was a good performer. Um, yeah, nice and strong. And this is the second time I've noticed it. Now I wanna be a little more cognizant of it in the future. It seems to get stronger the longer it's melted too. So this, like by the second hour, I'm like, you know, it's been melted. Like it's melted. It's been melting already, fully melted in Scentsy Warmers and Tea Lights. But I feel like you're like, did it just like get stronger? It feels like that's what happens. And that's happened to three of the Teddy Bee melts that I've melted, um, where I feel like they get stronger and stronger as the hours of melting go on. Same with the cure time. They get stronger and stronger as you just leave them alone. So witchy woman, a good one. Definitely get that kind of masculine flannel and then the blackberries. The blackberries is beautiful though. Okay. All right. Now here we have, it was like Noel's Farm Sense Week. When I, now there's another. Okay. I think this is all of them. 
When I was putting together my November basket, I knew I wanted to warm fall brunch and I did the week of Thanksgiving. So I kind of, this was kind of Knowles Farm Sense week in a lot of ways. Um, this one is fall brunch. It's peach, pear, whipped cream, candied pear, and pie crust. And this one, the pear in here is gorgeous. It's got pear and candied pear. That pear, the, the pear scent, not so much the candied pear, is like a true pear. I feel like I have pear in front of me. And then you also get the candied pear on top of it that adds this even more of a sugared sweetness. And I do get a little bit of pie crust. Now I'm also feeling like I get um, the whipped cream when I warm this. I had to use, the, this time around I did use tea light warmers and a hot plate warmer. Normally I don't. Um, I started with, I think, two Scentsy warmers. There's eight in here. And then it wasn't as strong of a scent as I wanted it. So I did add a tea light to it. So overall, beautiful scent, but it was softer. Um, and it was a little bit on the lighter side for me, but I still love it. I still loved it. Uh, would I, when I would come down the stairs, I can smell that pear and gorgeous. So fall brunch then, and it lasted, this one lasted about four to five hours. Then I switched it out to this one. This is sp Spiced Buttercream Delight. This is pumpkin, brown sugar, buttercream, vanilla, cinnamon, clove, and nutmeg. This one was strong. Did not need a tea light warmer for this. This I just used my Scentsy warmers and wow, this was super strong. Spiced Buttercream Delight has that same, I think it has some of the same notes as the pumpkin pie pound cake, which I love as well, but this has a little more clove. Um, yeah, has a clove. Yeah, I get clove and buttercream, but fabulous, strong, delicious. It smells like it smells on cold, but then, you know, more beautiful because it's warming and it's everywhere. I have a little, so a little side story here. So later that afternoon, when I had this going for a while, um, I had to go to the DMV and I go, I know I'm going to smell like spiced, <laughs> spiced buttercream delight because it was pumping pretty good, uh, downstairs. And so I went to the DMV, didn't have lunch because I wasn't hungry before I left. I had a late breakfast and I'm sitting there and I'm like, I'm like, I can smell myself. I smell like spiced buttercream delight. And then you're a little almost embarrassed. Like do other people, are they wondering where that scent is coming from? Like, am I making other people hungry? Cause I'm making myself hungry. And, um, so I'm sitting there, go through like three different lines for the DMV. And then, uh, when I'm in the last line, the corrections line, there's a lady behind me, you know, she was, in line behind me, but she gets closer and she gets closer. I mean, you would think by the time, you know, if you were looking at us that we were together because she was now like right here. And I'm like, she must like the way I smell. Um, but we were chatting. She's a very sweet lady, uh, chatting with her. And then while we were in line, I'm hearing this chirping, chirp, 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 you know? And I'm like, is that like, what is that? Some, is that someone's ringtone? Like, what is that? It sounds like a bird. And look, even she's like, we're, you know, we're looking around and sure enough, there's a bird in someone's backpack. It's a bird backpack, I guess. Or maybe, I don't know, maybe it's made for just animals in general because it's got like a mesh side so they can breathe. So they're not going to die in plastic. Uh, but then it was like one side is clear plastic. plastic. If I still have the photo, I'll put it up here. Uh, yeah, I was like, and if anyone has this, don't keep, don't be mad at me about what I'm going to say. But I'm like, that bird did not want to be at the DMV. Nobody wants to be at the DMV. Like, why leave the bird at home? <laughs> like, I don't understand. I just don't understand the backpack with the bird. Um, anyway, I mean, there people surprise me. People surprise me um, at the DMV with the bird. I, I just feel like if you're walking, the bird is like, you know, I don't know. Does the bird like to be moving around like that? I don't know, but it didn't seem very happy. Um, but there was a bird at the DMV and I smelled like spice buttercream, spiced buttercream delight. 
Okay, back to wax. This is Hello, It's Me Fall, also from Knowles Farm Sense. See, this is what happens when I put the lights. It gets harder to see the label. Um, this is apple cider donut Palo Santo toasted marshmallow. I had this going in the bedrooms. <sighs> the toasted marshmallow and the Palo Santo is everything in this. It's the, mm, this was so good on warm. Filled the room. I'd say this is more of a bedroom scent probably or a smaller room, but it, it smells very nice. Like I could smell it in the hallway. Um, beautiful, beautiful. Love this one. I think I have more of this. I think, I hope so because it gets even better and better as it warms. That's hello. It's me fall. And that I think was one of my first hauls from Knowles farm scents, uh, in September. So I've, I've been a fan ever since this next one is campfire confection also from Knowles farm scents. Like I said, I was like, I don't know. I wasn't intentionally focusing on it. Um, but I did kind of got into this kick. So this one is Amish French bread, zucchini bread, sugar cookie, marshmallow, and campfire. This one I also warmed in the bedroom and beautiful. I only used three cubes and it was it was running pretty good uh, in here. The campfire, mm, the campfire was great. Oh, it's so good. And then I smell that um, his Amish friendship bread and the sugar cookie, that definitely came through. So did that campfire, but it wasn't too smoky. It was just like the right amount of smoky just to make it kind of comforting. And then you get some of that marshmallow. But for me, I got a lot of that Amish bread and the sugar cookie and that campfire smoke. And it was so good. So good. So love this one. I know I have, I know I have a backup for that. Um, fantastic. Then another night I had this one going in the bedrooms. This is cozy evenings. This is leaves, beach nights and comfort, um, from Knowles farm scents had this in this bedroom as well one evening. And I don't know what comfort is, but it's good. It's so good. And it's cozy, just like the name says. So whereas the campfire confection has this really nice campfire, which is a beautiful scent for the evening. This one has maybe, maybe there's like shea butter or something or might be what's in comfort. I'm not sure. And then the beach nights is beautiful. And then you mix it with the leaves. It's, it's just a beautiful blend. Loved it in the bedroom. It's, it's leaves, but it's not that kind of wet dead leaf kind of smell that some, sometimes leaves can be like that. I think the beach nights in here gives it a sweetness and uh, it's good, 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 good. So that was cozy evenings and I have that going in the bedrooms in Scentsy Warmers. Okay, moving on to, I think this is my only Harper James. So Harper James, this is salty pumpkin. This is pumpkin, salted pretzel, caramel, maple, and sugar cookie. I did, and I've been seeing a lot of Harper James hauls because her pre-order, I think in the past few weeks came, you know, was shipped and a lot of people got it. Harper James was my very first vendor. So always a special place in my heart. And this might've been one of the first ones I got. I can't remember. So I purchased Harper James, I think for the first time in probably late November or December. So this is from last year. That's why I didn't do the pre-order this year. I do have, st I still have quite a bit of Harper James from last year that I wanted to use up like North Pole, like Sleigh Ride. Um, and then I did get some fall scents like this one. So Salty Pumpkin, her pretzel is fantastic. So she has one called, is it just Salty Pretzel? I think um, it's got this butteriness, but then saltiness, and then you get that bready pretzel. It's a bready pretzel, not like a hard crispy pretzel. And this one has that with the pumpkin, and then you have the caramel, then you have the maple. So it does get for my nose and for my taste to be a little heavy with those scents. I did warm this in some hot plates and I don't think I did a tea light. Scentsy warmer and two hot plates, I believe. 
but it's a really good scent. It's just, it gets to be very rich because of that maple and caramel uh, for me, because that just sticks, it sticks to me. Um, and it kind of holds on everywhere, but it is a really nice scent. And yeah, I do enjoy Harper James. I was a little, having a little FOMO when I'm seeing everyone else getting their hauls um, this week. So I made sure to warm that one. This next one here, let's see, I have three rose girls this is apple clove honey beignets and this is an empty this i got i want to say in early october i think so it's a recent it's a recent one i didn't date it so that's how recent it is this i had all over the house everywhere because i just wanted to use it up <laughs> i wanted to use it up i definitely get a lot of clove and honey the honey in here is prominent along with a clove and then the apple that's kind of the order I would put it in I really didn't get beignets in this at all and in the open space it kind of it was there but it was very light in the bedroom it was much much better so I would say the scent works much better in a smaller space um and very pretty. If you like honey, you're going to get a lot of honey and clove. You got to kind of like those two scents. Uh, the apple is not the main star in this, but it was very pretty in the bedroom. Got lost in open space. So that is um, apple, clove and honey beignets. Probably wouldn't get it again just because this is a scent I'd much prefer warming in open space. Um, and it, it didn't do as well there. This one here is... Back from the grave, this is cedar, pine, bonfire, and sandalwood. I uh, warmed this in the bedroom here. A beautiful tree scent. So you did get a little bit of the pine. You did get some of that um, cedar. You got the bonfire and you got the sandalwood. So I really did smell all of those things. It was blended really well. Uh, I love sandalwood and it was, it kind of made it for a nice bedroom scent. Uh, so it was a perfect for having a sample. I think I got this from the round robin. Pretty sure I did because I didn't buy it. It was definitely a shape. It was a shape of a scary face. <laughs> it was like a Halloween shape. Um, really pretty, performed very well in my bedroom in my Scentsy warmers. So I would buy this scent again if I saw it. And that is back from the grave. This next one is Ghost Stories. And this is Ice Vanilla Woods with lavender and vanilla cupcakes. Ghost Stories. And I recently picked this one up in uh, September. This is a good one. You do need to like lavender and you in the iced vanilla woods leans masculine. So I don't really get cupcake. I really didn't get too much cupcake. I'm getting a lot of the lavender. I'm getting the musk from the iced vanilla woods. Um, I do get some woodsy notes and I do get some vanilla, but it's so good. It's really, really good. G nice and strong too. This one I had in, I've used it in open space before, but this, this particular time around, I think I used it. I know I used it in um, the bedrooms and performed well, lasted all day, like all day. And I think I had it even going like the next day for like half a day. Um, this is one that as it warmed, like as the hours went on, it actually got even prettier and prettier. I liked it even more, like more like on the third hour than I do like in the beginning. And I like it in the beginning. So it just got nicer and nicer. Like every time I'd come up here, I'd be like, oh, that smells really good. So um, yeah, on cold, it seems like a lot, a lot of that ice vanilla woods, a lot of that musk, a little more masculine leaning on warm. It blends so pretty with the lavender, um, but you have to like lavender, I think, to like this one and ice vanilla woods. Really pretty scent. So that is ghost stories. And that was just in Scentsy Warmers. Then I have, um, I think this is my only lavender and speckles. This is breakfast at the dragonfly. This one I do need my glasses. This is Coffee House and Speckles Birthday Cake. Speckles Birthday Cake is on its own a very, very popular blend. I've never, I've never had it on its own. I've only had it in this one. Um, but it Speckles Birthday Cake consists of birthday cake, sugar cookies, pecan waffles, cinnamon, vanilla, and lots of Palo Santo. I love her coffee scents. This one's a good performer, really nice and strong. 
and then mixed with that cake. And you did, I did get cake and I got cinnamon and I got Palo Santo um, and uh, some of the, definitely got some of the pecan. Um, so it smells like a coffee house. It smelled like a coffee house in fall with like some pecan waffles and some cake and just a lot of bakery yumminess. That's what this smells like. And I, I used, I only used two and it was working very well. Um, what I did, cause I normally don't chop them in half. I use two and a half, I use two and a half. Uh, that is half of one, but I decided to cut one in half and split it between two Scentsy warmers. And then I put one in a tea light just to really pump it through. And the tea light is going to warm uh, through the fragrance oil or burn through the fragrance oil a lot faster. So that's why I put a whole cube of that. Um, oof, this was everywhere and yummy. I love her Palo Santo. I love that cinnamon, the coffee. It's very, very good. Um, so that one, I, I just used a little bit and it fills the open space. So breakfast at the dragonfly. Uh, let's see here. I have two from K. So this is K's Scented Melts. This one is November Rain, and it was a sample that I got in uh, one of my orders. I knew I wanted to warm this in November, being hence the name, um, or because of the name. And it smells like raindrops, like clean, that clean air, that clean, fresh air after a rain. And it was really good. I do use a uh, tea light warmer and hot plates for K's. I find that it just performs much better in something very, very hot. Um, and so I really enjoy this one and it filled the uh, downstairs when I used it with a tea light warmer and the hot plates. This is another one from K. This is autumn crunch. This is apple caramel, zucchini bread, pumpkin, peanut brittle. So kind of same, same setup with the tea light and uh, hot plates. The peanut brittle in here is so nice. Very much get that peanut brittle. It gives it this crunchiness to it. Um, oh, and then I do get some of that apple caramel. So this was, this was very, very good. I enjoyed this quite a bit. Filled the downstairs when I had it going. And I didn't use the whole thing. And I think I had used part of it before. So I didn't use the whole clamshell. I think I only used three this time around. And I, that's probably what I had. I had three left from another time that I was warming it. Um, fantastic. Loved it. Autumn crunch. I have more of this and that's from Kay's scented melts. Okay. Let's see another clamshell here. This is from Zape. This is Santal Amandel. This is notes of, let's see, almond, coconut and nutty shea, which <laughs> nutty shea seems like an odd note. Uh, this came from friend mail from summer. And I think there was like three or four zape in there, which is why. Um, so thank you summer because of that. I was able to try some zape. I'd heard a lot about zape and they performed very, very well for me. So since then, I think I've gotten three hauls. One was just coffee. One was all coffee. One was like some fall scents. And then one was holiday. Um, and so although I haven't warmed a ton of K's, I've warmed enough to know that it works in my home. This was the only one that I did not love as much. And it's the coconut. At first I was like, I'm getting this plasticky note, which I know some people have said that the clamshells kind of have this plastic note, but I haven't experienced that with any of my other Zape clamshells. So I was like, hmm, maybe this has just been around longer. I don't know. But then when I looked at the notes again, I'm like, that's what it is. It's the coconut. This reminded me of some of the Scentsy coconut. You know, that coconut came off as waxy to me in a lot of the Scentsy blends that had coconut. And that's what this is. It's that waxy coconut smell. So it was not a love of mine because of that. Um, I got a little bit of almond. When I got close to it and it was warming, it smelled better than when it was just kind of permeate, permeating in the room. I got a lot of more of that coconut scent. So it's like a coconut water, not coconut milk. So that being said, I warmed this in the bedrooms upstairs and Scentsy warmers. I could definitely smell it. 
but I didn't care for the coconut in there. So that was very long winded. Okay. Sassy Girl Aroma. It's Fall Charlie Brown. This is apple pumpkin strudel and zucchini bread. Shocker. I could actually read that. Uh, this is a very, very popular blend. I got it because I'd heard so many people talk about it and uh, it was great. Excuse me. I'm very, I'm like, I don't have any water near me and I could just like my mouth is dry. Um, great fall scent. So I'm really glad I got it. I understand the hype. The apple pumpkin strudel is very, very nice. It's just a good fall scent. Good fall bakery. Um, it performed well. Sassy Girl just consistently performs. I mean, there's been a few duds. There's been, but I mean, out of all the ones I've melted, it's pretty good. Um, this is also a fresher bar. I haven't even dated this. So I got this in my last haul, which was in October, I believe, or end of September because time flies. But anyways, my most recent Sassy Girl haul, I did get this um, and it performed fantastic in my Scentsy Warmers um, open space. Great smell. Given that it is very fall and we're getting into December, I can't believe it will be December this week at the end of this week. Um, yeah, my birthday's coming up. Uh, so this is one I'll probably put away for next year. And I'm okay with that because I find that Sassy Girl Aroma, like the shelf life on these is also really good. So that's the other thing that I tried to do. I've been melting more Rose Girls faster than Sassy Girl because I feel like the shelf life on sassy girl is longer. So I have more time. I have more time to, um, melt it than I do rose girls. Okay. Then I've got just kind of some random things here. This is a little candle. This came from the bingo winning one of the bingo lives that Natalie, I think this one was Natalie, Diane and charity. Um, this is pumpkin banana muffin from country candle. And it's just a little tea light. Um, and Country Candle, I think, is also Kringle. Yes, Kringle can. Uh, so either way, I haven't tried Kringle candles, and I haven't tried their their Country Candle line until now. This was a kind of a tea light size, a little bit bigger than that. Warmed it in the bathroom. It was fine. Just not memorable, but it was fine. You know, pumpkin. Yeah, it smelled like a pumpkin muffin. <laughs> um, and then this other one was also part of the, that winning winnings. This is from Goose Creek. It's pumpkin cider donut and never melted any wax melts from Goose Creek either. This one, it was like a pie shape, like six of them. I didn't really get a whole lot from this. It was very light and I used the whole thing up in, in the uh, open space. Got a little bit of, of like a donut, kind of that spicy cinnamon, cinnamon with a little pumpkin, a little bit, but I was warming and I didn't bring it up here. So I'll put it in my next, my next basket. Um, what's that candle? Spiced, yeah, spiced cardamom. Spiced cardamom, a Bath and Body Works candle. I had that melting as well in my candle warmer. And I had this going and I had vanilla, no, hazelnut latte. So that was what I was warming when I talked about the Scentsy hazelnut latte. I had both of these going thinking donuts, coffee, <laughs> that'll work. But no, the spiced cardamom coming from the other corner in the room um, overtook both of those scents. So didn't get too much from this. So it was fine. It was fine. And this one is one of the waxes, waxes, wax melt that my friend makes. Uh, this one, she calls it Tipsy Cauldron. It's black currant, pomegranate cider, absinthe, smoked vanilla, and burnt sugar. Really good. I, I love that my friend makes wax and gives it to me because I um, have learned through her wax that I like absinthe. I can't tell you what it smells like. It's so hard to describe, um, but it's it's so pretty. So this does have a little bit of a perfumey, little bit um, kind of scent to it. And I think that's the mix of the absinthe, absinthe and the smoked vanilla that's in here. 
Um, the pomegranate cider, it was just really good. So that was my little, I call it my private or private label, I think. Um, and then last but not least, this is a non waxing. It's my last one. Um, last thing I have in my basket. This is from Sarah V. This is hydrating cream to foam cleanser for normal to dry skin. Um, use that puppy up and I have another backup. So I do enjoy this. I do double cleanse. So I take my makeup off with a uh, oil, like a, I think it's, I forget what it's called. I've, I've, sh I've shared it before in an empty. Um, I think it's from Palmer's. And so I take my makeup off with that. And then I kind of clean, clean it again with this um, hydrating cream to foam. So this lasts quite a long time, picked it up from Amazon. And that is my little skincare empty for, for the week. So that is everything. It was a lot. I feel like I talked a lot gotta go drink something. Um, but it was a great week. It was a great week. It's also nice to not have to go in the office because I can melt more. As you can tell, I did a lot. Um, so thank you so much for hanging out with me. I hope you enjoy this, hearing my thoughts on a lot of the stuff that I warmed. If you like this, consider giving me a like or subscribing to my channel if you haven't already. And I hope you enjoy whatever it is that you're melting. Have a good one. Bye-bye.